Come on, boys, boys, boys. We got dramas, come out, come out. He's got a gut full of water. It is very doom and gloom at this point. We're going to be towing this car from here. This is it, boys. Here we go, first crack at uh, Tasmania's beach. Apparently, we've got to be extremely careful on these beaches. There's a thing called quicksand. Oh, quicksand. That does, just doesn't sound good. It doesn't have a good ring to it. Plenty of timber stacked up. Oh, there's a truckload of logs and stuff here. We're going all down the beach. There's a dirty great rock in front of me that you do not want to drive over. It is a diff stomper. That'd bust your diff wide open. Now I've got to turn and cut through these logs. Someone's done a lot, done a lot of chainsaw in here at some point to get through this driftwood. Now just hold for a second here too. I'm just noticing uh, a big uh, swell surge. I think this uh, surf comes right up into this um, into these logs, mate. I don't think he's even thinking about it. It 100% does. There it goes right now. All right, a bit of lull there. I might see if we can duck around this couple in front of us and then that gives us a clear run. Go. All good. Obstacle number one. Woo. Considering it's our first, uh, our first attempt at crossing the Freshwater Creek here on the west coast of Tasmania. Here is ever. ever. With trailers, yeah, and there's a lot of talk. We did a little, little bit, a little, little bit of research. There's such a thing called quicksand. Yes, and they talked about quicksand. They talked about the transition between fresh and salt and sand doing these ones. And I was completely confused. Yeah, I honestly reckon the boggy stuff, soft stuff, is there yeah. in this transition period where the fresh sits on top, salts underneath doing these ones. Well, I reckon we've done enough talking about it. We should go for a walk. We should probably test it with our feet. That's oh. That's hard as a rock there. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the water's cold too. Oh, wow. It's bloody cold. Woohoo! Yeah, it looks a bit soft there. There it is. There it is. That's the one. You found it. The old quicksand. Gone. Yeah, so this is the transition period. So between there and there is soft. Down there, hard but surgy. And up there, hard but drop off bank. Here comes the tidal wave. That was a solid one right there. Look at that. Oh no, that's coming solid. That was a good call holding. <laughs> See that? Yeah. No surge coming in. Oh, there's one coming in. Don't let it go again, eh? Here comes the surge! No worries. No worries. <laughs> Good job, Maxi. Good job. All right. So we're going to head down further now, and we've got to find, apparently, there's another section before we pop up onto a headland and get around that. So we're going to we're running out of time. Uh, we lose, uh, we lose light really quickly here, like four, third, quarter to five. It's gone almost and gets brutally cold. The sand's getting a bit softer, buddy. Yeah, the creek ahead of me, mate. A bigger creek, much bigger. Oh, indeed. And looks like this is where we exit to to get around the headland. Yep. See this? Yeah. Any money, that's soft as. How deep is it? Where are we going in? I don't know. That looks deep just there. Hard back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah in way up there. I think that's what she was... Is it cold? Oh, it's getting dark too. We better get a look at it. Did we get here? We want to get there. Oh, easy, mate, eh? Feel good. Yeah, so is the rock, lads. Oh, good. Hard the rock. Yeah, that's good underfoot, eh? Get the hell off this beach, mate. Yep. We're we losing dark. light. Yeah, you're clear. All good. A little bit soft there, a little bit soft. I did not want to be 
stack this time of the evening. Nice work. All good, all good. Better get a good camps on out of this wind. Got a truckload of rain last night. Any of the serious bush drive we're going to do from this point on is going to be very wet and muddy, I think. That's what I was worried about. At least the sand will be nice and hard. This track's just going on for a bit. On and on and on. Yes, very gnarly jump up. Technically, it's a step up or a step down. It's going to jump. We don't want to jump. No jumping. Jason's got a bit going on here. Oh, a little bit of crunching. Oh, it's good from the back. The carnage. There's <laughs> really old lights in the truck. Steady as she goes. All the wet brakes. Yeah, all good. Oh, Bob. Maybe not. A bit of rock siding. That's where everyone leaves all their stuff behind. Don't I leave anything behind? Yeah, I'm just picking up the pieces now. Oh no, what pieces? Straight back on. Oh, rocks are solid too, that's it. Nasty little rocks, mate. Nasty. Yeah. Nasty little hard rocks, actually. This is going to be the weirdest landscape I've seen. At a beach. This reminds me of New Zealand now. I never actually went to the beach when I was in New Zealand. This is very New Zealand. New Zealand is right here. This could be New Zealand? Yeah. A very interesting little crossing ahead of us here, boys. Looks like a bloody flowing creek rather than a crossing. Yes, looks very interesting. I think we've got to start thinking about maybe some tyre pressures too. Yeah, probably. That doesn't look like something that you cross. Holy man, it's gold. From back there, it looks like it'll be easy. You get a bit closer, <laughs> and it just goes down, down, down. It's cold. bone chilling cold, isn't it? You oh, can feel it in the bone. straight out of Antarctica, that. Oh, in the bones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's just not cold. That's. Ice. Ice. It's cold. Tell you what, you don't want to muck around in that first little part over here. It's pretty solid, but that first part's a bit soft. And... Oh, yeah, the sand completely different quick, here. Quick sand. Hard? Nah, soft there. Yeah, you can oh, feel that. Straight down. Feel the bottom go out of it. Straight down. I was expecting it to be deep. Oh, you're tight, that. Because I cannot see. It's hard. Oh, Oh, I don't know. I think this might be our spot. Pop out. I reckon that's our spot. See on the other side, lad. I don't know what all the light was about. You know what I'm going to do to put it through, mate? It's very ominous. You can never be too careful, that's the thing. Come unstuck, it's all bad. Oh, that's nice. Too easy. Dangerous Southern Ocean. <laughs> That's all you see how we did that? You and me going get bloody stuck. Yup. Not even close. Not even close. Oh, a little bit stressful when walking around trying to find the spot. But hey, we found the spot. This looks like where they've been crossing. It's so hard to tell in this black water. No, it's a deep hole. So there might be a bit of track up around the bush inside there. No, it's not a track. It's nothing. Is there something to the left here? Ooh, oh, look at this oh, oh, my lordy. Oh. Well, that was pretty lucky that uh, I didn't reverse through that. 
I drove around that. That's the quicksand of death. Don't even go there. Stop it. Give us a day off. Have you ever got a vehicle stuck in this stuff? I got my motorbike years ago on Fraser Island stuck in this stuff and we couldn't get it out. I don't reckon they're coming through here. Either that, they're coming through here at a later date. Go on. Away you go. Oh, you're touching shirt. Oh. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> oh. He's committing. It's actually Rocky just here. Right? Yeah, it's all Rocky Take there. Take your word for it, too. All right. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, this is the only crossing, so we've got no choice. Cole's going to go first. A little bit deep. I don't like this quicksand. That quicksand over there, that stuff. <laughs> oh, so treacherous this coast, I'll tell you now. And it's cold, that water is like ice. Right on. What the, what, what the hell happened? All right, boys, boys, boys. What the hell happened? We got dramas, give me out, give me out. Are you in trouble? Is he bogged or did his car die? No, he's, I don't know, I think he... Are you bogged or did your car die? My car is so dead, I got no power, no nothing, give me out. He's got a gut full of water. Yeah, I'll snorkel, I bet ya. I'm filling with water, boys. All right, I'm, 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 I'm in park, I've got to try and somehow get out of park. Holy crap. Yep! Is it on? Oh man. Oh my god. You said it wasn't deep! What did you do? You said it wasn't deep! Well, it wasn't deep! That was deep! That was ridiculously deep! Look how deep I got to put your thing off! Did you get Man, a gut full was... in your snorkel? I reckon it must have. Oh, 100%! It's not a submarine, it's just a full drive. Yeah, but look at the distance I had no, to get across. I saw across. the pace you were hitting it, like... That's what happened. That's exactly what happened. Water rode up the windscreen and into the snorkel. Boom, gut full of water, stops. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, stop. It is very doom and gloom at this point. It's, it's almost very obvious that we're going to be towing this car from here back out. How we're going to achieve that, I don't think anyone really knows at this point. With the tide on the rise, the team need to get this car to safety fast. Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by the Premium Adventure Recovery System from Campos 4x4. Now, this is an awesome little kit. Now, I put this kit together so that you've got all the little things that you need when you're out on an adventure and you get yourself bogged and you're looking for recovery. So, if you get a chance, check it out. Campos 4x4 shop online or get down to your local Campos dealer and they'll have plenty of these in stock. Otherwise, mate, Stop listening to me, Babylon, and get on with your adventure. Yeah, well, it's turned into a bit of a nightmare now. Very bad. How's she feel? Yeah, it's no problem. Like, it's not, it's all hard sand, it's not heavy to tow. I'm assuming you got heavy steering and next to no brakes, Kyle. That is correct. Heavy steering and next to no brakes. I've uh, got a hand on the handbrake as well, just in case. This is all doom and gloom. It's not good. It's not good. The problem we got is there's water sitting in the top of the cylinders, and of course you can't compress water. It doesn't compress. Um, so you just stop. The engine, that's it, stop. Now, if you can get an injector out, you can create a gap for something to come out. Better be careful here. Very surgy. Did you find that a bit deeper when you went through? No, 
I went through nice and steady, like some people do. Come on, man, like in another couple of days' time, it's going to be worthy of those jokes, but not now, it's too early. All right, drop down. All right, here we go. She goes off the beach. That's a start. Just gear out of here. It's just a nightmare. Yeah, I think we'll just duck over the other side of this headland here and find a little spot out of the window. Doesn't that like it's got to go down into the turbo? The turbo then forces air out through the intercooler and into there. Let's turn the um, car on for a second. Up. There's not a lot in Still there. Still turning over. I know. All right, so glow plugs. If we can pop the glow plugs, uh, the glow plugs out, all four of them, we can get the water, shoot the water out of the tops of the cylinders. Okay, short extension, please, move. Get something on that. Um, the uni and the um, breaker bar. Let me try the um, try the ratchet. I might be able to get the ratchet on there. All right, there's number two. What is that? That dirt? Okay, so that's two, front and rear. I need to get this one here. That's all four glow plugs out, so that gives us access to the cylinders. So if there's anything in the tops of the cylinders, water, which doesn't make engines go very well, it can shoot that water out, and once that water is out, um, we can then put the glow plugs back in and um, yeah, so we just got to keep turning it over, so it'll, man it'll turn over just using the starter motor, punch out all the water out of the tops of the, the cylinders, or sitting on top of the pistons, and um, cross fingers we can get glow plugs back in and this thing will fire up. See how we go. We are very hopeful. We are very hopeful. Well mate, you put the water in, let's see if you can get the water out. Alright Kyle. Good to go? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, out she comes. Keep it going. There it is. You can't have for a bit. Diesel. Diesel. Water and diesel. Just don't want that starter motor to get too hot. Yeah, it's okay. A lot of. Not a lot of water, not like heat, but yeah, water no, come no, out, water which is. is good. That's what we want. We might be onto something here. All right, mate, away you go. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. she is. Coming out. In the water. We might be half a chance. I reckon we might be. Oh, I reckon we give it one more go. Let me, um, just so we don't damage our battery. We'll put a bit of power into it as well. Just, just to be sure, to be sure. All right, mate, fire. Woo, there it goes. Please, come on. I think we're good. Mm. What do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon. Absolutely. I think we're good. So that mist that's coming out now, that's what they class as uh, hopefully just diesel. pure diesel. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't diesel. Run, they don't run on a water of diesel mixture. Mm, not real good. But they do run on a diesel mixture. So we shove them back in. Shove them back in. 
There's a dry air cleaner. Well, there's no air cleaner in there. No, but I've got a dry one, yep. so we're good. Smelt a bit more diesel-y by the end yeah, there? Yeah, very diesel-y. Very okay, diesel pass me uh, some injectors and I'm going to go glow in. Glow plugs, sir. You, you want glow plugs? Sorry, glow plugs. And I'm going to go in for the count and try and get these things back in. One glow plug, two glow plug. Put these back in, put it back together, and boom, why it's going to go heavy dust. We're driving around the water. Everything else seems to be okay. That goes in there. Does um, a little rubber thing pop out? No? I think so. Alright. Bolts. Phillips head screwdriver. Get this one. <laughs> Are they all in before I tighten this? Uh, there's one more, I can't see where it goes. Over that side. I can get it. What were they, a 10 mil? Yeah. Need a spanner on this one. Just a 10 mil, please, mate. Simon had done it before. Found it. That one, make sure it's all good. It's good. Uh, nothing else, no little sensors. Didn't take anything else out. That's good there, that's good. I put that back on. Everything else good. That's all good, that's all good. That's good, cool. that just does its thing, doesn't it? That's just as good. Yeah, that is. Everything's good. You gonna chuck that battery back on or you're gonna be right? I reckon you fire it up. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, yes. Baby. oh yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, oh, keep oh, revving oh, it. Oh, rev oh, a little oh, bit. Rev oh, a little oh, bit. Rev oh. a little bit. Oh. Give a little rev. Give a little I'm rev. Come Is it? You put that. Uh, There'll be, a, there'll be a little bit of rattly water in there. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come, come on. Come on. Come on, smooth out. Come on. Stay steady, steady, steady. Uh, there's probably a little bit of moisture in there. Just keep it, just give it a little bit of rev, just so there'll be some moisture running yeah, through yeah, the system, mate. Yeah, yeah, she's getting there. She's getting there. No, we're good. Yeah? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. We're good. If it was buggered, she'd be clattering her guts out. I know. Sounds good. Sounds perfect. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo, <laughs> yeah. Come on. Oh. Well done, boys. Well done. Well done. That has saved an absolute nightmare. Got it going. Go figure. You beauty. It's running nice. It's sweet now. Ooh. It's a perler. That water injection that you were trying to do. I just want to clean out the cylinders a little bit, you know, just yeah, like a good dishwasher, job. you know. Yeah, nice work. Yeah, yeah. Good, good work, Kyle. Oh, I'll let it warm up before we start wringing its neck. Very good. This is a good outcome. That's Crisis a very good outcome. Averted. Crisis averted, yes. With the mood changing, it's time to set camp. 
The chill is kicking in hard, so they need a few little luxuries. Here's a little trick of it from the old mate Simon. Now that, I'll just turn on the uh, power here, 240. That is the power of my electric blanket sitting in my rooftop tent. So it's a bit of 240 power from the uh, 2000 watt red arc converter. And uh, mate, I got a cozy little rooftop tent when it gets down to like four, four degrees tonight. So boys, it's pretty balmy conditions, eh? It's pretty warm. Yeah, it's so warm at the moment, it's great. Jason, look, you said you are going to take us to somewhere a bit cooler. I was taking you to the Cape. To the Cape? Sandy Cape. Sandy Cape. Mate, we, do, we nearly didn't be going anywhere <laughs> today, mate, after your efforts. We've got to go on. Hopefully there's no dramas. And that little engine purring along nicely, mate. Yep. Tough little diesel engine. Let's find a way around that hole. I think, I think that's going to have to be a, one of our tricks tomorrow, is trying to find some way around it. Alrighty, I reckon that'd be sharp enough. Well, I don't know about you, but it's time to make something that I've always wanted to make for a long, long time, ever since I watched those sitcoms, right? I don't know whether you watched those sitcoms when you were growing up as a kid, you know, those uh, American sitcoms. And they always used to talk about this food that no one ever liked. They'd be like, the mum would come out and she'd go, what are, what are we having for dinner tonight, mum? And the mum would go, meatloaf. And the kids around the table would go, Oh, not meatloaf. And I always wondered why they turned their nose up at meatloaf. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to cook a bush meatloaf. Alrighty, ground beef, here we go. We're going to need some herbs, some eggs, some mushrooms. We're going to need heaps of stuff. I'm even going to need bacon. I'm going to put some bacon in this meatloaf. It's easy as, like I mean it's so simple. Alright, so let's get uh, cooking. Just cut it up nice and uh, fine. That's an onion cut up. We're going to stick that in our bowl here, whack her in. We're going to need some mushrooms. We'll chuck a few of those in. All right, let's, um, let's get our uh, herbs out. So I'm going to use a bit of parsley, a bit of sort of uh, uh, continental parsley and normal parsley. You'd be used to that one. And we're just going to, literally just going to chop this stuff up. Half of that in there. And I'm gonna use the other half for some other stuff. We're gonna whack in our beef. I'm gonna to to stick two of these in because we're gonna feed some, some hungry boys in the bush. And we'll get some eggs in there. This is what this is gonna do. It's gonna put the body of the, it'll sort of hold everything together. Three eggs in there. And then we'll get a bit of these uh, breadcrumbs. So whack in about that much. And this is where we get our hands dirty. And right, while that's happening, I'm gonna flick in some nutmeg. And you're looking at me like, nutmeg? And I said, yeah. And we want to stick some garlic in here for sure. Okay, give it some real flavor. All right, whack that in. The cheese, whack that in. We're gonna put some salt and pepper in. All right, I'm gonna chuck a slab of bacon in here. Let's have a look at this one. So, strip it like that. I'm gonna roll it in. Mix all this together. Just so it all sort of sticks together. Okay, now we need some aluminium foil. But as we roll it, we're gonna lay it flat first, put our bacon and then roll it up. Going to make a big flat layer of this meat. Okay, yeah, that's looking good. Then we're gonna lay our bacon in here. All right, so we're gonna lay all our bacon in through here. We want like a big, big roll. So it's nice and tight. Now, you wanna keep the foil out of the roll oil spray and I'm going to spray this as I go because this sucker is going to stick. It's starting to look like a meatloaf now. Push our sides in and then I could probably grab a little bit more foil so that I seal my ends up. And that my friend is a meatloaf. Grab the camp oven out of here. She's ready to go, the old trusty camp oven, the one I've been using for God knows how long, for years and years and years. And you'll see there's a trivet down in the bottom there. Pop him down there, close the lid, put it on the fire, Bob's your uncle. All right, a good looking fire over here with some coals. All right, we'll get some coals on the bottom as per usual. All right, some coals on top. Just keep an eye on that. You don't want it to cook too quickly. You want it to, you know, cook nice and steady. Remember, that's a big, 
roll of meat there. But it's like a roast. Cooking. Gonna make us some food now. All right, here we go. Good old meatloaf time. So we'll get rid of that. There we go. There we go. Got it. I'll put that down there. Meatloaf. So I'm just literally going to go in half like that and peel it open for you. Have a look at that tasty little sucker. Cut it down the guts. Stick it over here on the plate. Unwrap it like that. A little bit of garnish on top. Now remember, I remember them saying when I, uh, you know, when you're watching those sitcoms, it was, ah, oh, not meatloaf, it's dried up old meatloaf. That's literally, you gotta be really careful you don't overdo it, otherwise it will be dried up old meatloaf. Cooking. I don't know what they were complaining about. Cooking. G'day guys, today's video is proudly brought to you by the Camboss 4x4 Boss Seat Organizer. This is a cool little contraption, mate. Check this out, look at that. Whack that on the back of your seat, just clips onto the back like that, put all your loose items in there, even holds. Kids iPad in there. Mate, when you're out on your next adventure and the kids are looking to put all their crap in the car, this sucker will organize it. Anyway, uh, if you get a chance, check it out on the uh, Camp Boss 4x4 web store, or get down to your local dealer. There's gotta be a dealer near you guys. Check out the list. You'll find one for sure, close enough to you. Otherwise, mate, back to the video and get on with the adventure. Well, looks like uh, a new day brings a new challenge, eh? The water seems to have subsided a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna change some tactics up a little bit. I feel like yesterday wasn't as productive as it could have been. I think that's an understatement. There you go, still going, mate, it's all good. That's right, we sort of it. Let's cross here, see this little cross here? I'm gonna cross here and then have a look over, I think, what looks like another exit. That's keen. I don't like that. I'm gonna say, that's keen. I reckon we go up the back of that dune and cut across and go where that other exit is. Hey, you know, that pedal on the right there, mate. It's the right. Oh! I'm just waiting for Jase to get all stuck because I'm pretty sure he already has. Yeah, that's not good either. Just pick a little crossing there, come across and um, come forward and I'll go forward through here. But there's your, that's our crossing over there. For some reason, I didn't see that yesterday. Today's not looking much better than yesterday. Yeah, I come around the back here. There's a little track here around the back, and I thought, there's my exit over there. So I'd come around here, but there's a big cliff face here, and I just tried to cut it sharp, and I got caught up, hung up on the corner here. I'm not going anywhere near there in case that disappears. Oh, yeah, get a couple of tracks off, and... It won't take too much. I dug that corner out. I'll dig that corner out around that trailer. Keep coming, keep coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. Coming in hot. Super hot. Here we go. So, I'm going to double check and make sure i got everything in. I'm ready. When I say go, Kyle, go. Go, 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 go. go. You're out, mate, you're out. Found ourselves a little crossing here, which didn't reveal itself yeah, yesterday. It How yeah. is it, Kyle? Is it safe to go across? I bet you'll be fine there, boys. He's up. Might have to give it the berries to get up there. Yeah, there you go. You up yet, Simon? Not yet! I am now! Is that the beach up ahead? Certainly is, there it is! Check that out! It's specky, isn't it? Mate, I'll tell you what, it's been a little bit of a mission so far just to get to this point, and we still got to travel a fair way yet to the Cape. The mission's not over, I think there's a few uh, creek crossings on this beach too, looking at the map. Yes, it's about four of them. I think I've noticed down here on Sandy Beach, there's not much rubbish. 
No, you're right, Simon. There's a lot of, obviously, driftwood and stuff, but yeah, no rubbish. Oh, okay. We're going to have to have a look at this one. Look at the water coming out of that creek. It's walking out, mate. It's walking oh. out. We've got a big surge coming up like the last one. Make sure we stay away from the rocks. Stay away, so you've got to get away from the rocks. Into the dark. Tannin. It's walking, but it's moving. Pretty hard, though. Yeah, Pretty hard. Solid. I think we're good here. Yeah, eh? yeah we're good. The feet freeze instead of brain freeze. Yeah. Feet yeah let's freeze. Go. Foot freeze. Look at that one. <laughs> oh, that's the biggest we're one. Come yet. in. We're trying to avoid that one. Very surgy. Very surgy. Well, it was even bigger again. Right, here we go. All right. Woo. Easy done. I'm not going to muck around either. I see an opportunity there. No worries, nice and hard. Just got to pick it. Good as gold, mate. Good as gold. Diamond through. Look at like that monster sand dunes. They look good. I reckon that's going to be a bit of fun on a couple of CF motos. Well, that's why I drag these things all this way. Beach is soft. It is so soft. The lady just get through. Find a hard patch. Up top here, boys. Up top here. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. We just made that. Simo, how you doing back there, mate? No, I'm done. Simo's down. You have to go back and snatch him, Kyle, I reckon. Yeah, he rode it out in the back. Yeah, he's a bit soft trying to drag the caravan. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Got like this creek number two, lads. Yeah, that's it. Oh, a bit yeah, drop off. there. A bit soft. Yeah, we didn't want a lollygag on it. This is where it's hard. Yeah. And softer here, eh? Yeah. He's got to time that surge again. I think that's going to be the go. I know we're mucking around and we're stopping at every crossing. There's only four on this beach and we've gone from one to the next one. But the thing is, in terms of being remote, this is probably one of the most remote coastlines that I reckon that I've experienced. Like, I know it doesn't sound right, but Think about every little crossing that we do because we get, we come unstuck, we got no hope. This beach is hectic. Soft there. Where's the hard bit? It's getting hard over here. It doesn't feel hard anywhere. Nah, up here, up here. Yeah, you're not wrong. I might just time it and just dart straight across. What do you reckon? Yeah, it looks similar to the other ones. Let's get out here and have a look. Yeah, it looks similar. Go! Look at it! Look at it! Yeah, I didn't like that little one that was rolling in. I think we'll just wait, I'll wait a sec. It's a bit deeper, eh? I mean, it's a bit, bit more depth in it. It's a bit deceiving like that. As the surge comes in, it sort of stands up on you. That looked a bit deep, eh, Simon? Much deeper than the other one, for sure. Ooh, that little bit of depth in it. That one looks so weird. The water is black as it. You can't even see it. Yeah, it looks horrible. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? it? Looks like there's a little hole there, but it's not. Well, this pretty much looks like the end of the line, boys. But um, we've got to try and find an exit, because we can run out of beach real quick. Look at that sandy cave, it looks more like rocky cave. Looks like there might be a little turn off up here after these sort of sand cliffs. Track? Yeah, it's track, come on up. Give it a little bit of berries though. No way you two get up, I ain't gonna make that. Uh, we're coming up, do we come up? Yeah, come up, I'm following a drill up that way now, come up. Looks like it's relatively hard, eh? 
Yeah, you'll make that, mate. You'll make it. Ah, oh, we're in. There should be a track. You should hit a main track, I reckon. There's a little hole here, boys. Yeah, right. Looks reasonably hard on the foot. Yeah, it's nowhere near as bad as it looks. <laughs> to the lighthouse. It's been an absolute mission to get here, like probably one of our toughest lighthouse runs, four-wheel drive, off-road lighthouse runs yet. It's nuts. It's still pushing us. Do something pretty specky after the mission has been to get here, I'm telling you. There'll be like pizzas laid out and all sorts. Pizzas laid out. There it is, lad. You get around this head, rocky bit, you'll see it. That is a tight little section. Sandy K, we made it. Wow. Yeah, what a mission. An absolute mission. There she is, boys. <laughs> Sandy Cape Lighthouse. Mate, that's a bit of Cape to Cape, isn't it? It's yeah. It's a bit of a hiding to get here. Cape, Cape York. York. Sandy Cape. It's a Sandy Cape. We're we here. haven't seen a soul. We're here. We haven't heard. We have not Although, seen one soul on this no, track. This is the off season where most smart people don't come here. Here you go, the off season Kate York and there's still people there. <laughs> Who's gonna get it first? Oh, oh I'll let you watch. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Very good. Ah. And then they got this red stuff on the rocks, which I'm not quite sure. It looks like some sort of fungus. Does it look like a fungus or something? It's really cool. Oh, well done fun. boys. Kate York. Done. Two. Sandy Cape. Okay, <laughs> done. You know, ever since the tall ships first come past this coastline, this rugged coastline of the west coast of Tasmania, it's always been considered an absolute dangerous place to be. The coastline is so rugged that since 1840, it has claimed 13 ships, another six Fishing boats since 1960 have come to grief out here as well. There is so much gnarly coastline from hidden reefs to rocky outcrops. The wild weather comes in from the Antarctica and it drives up along the west coast of Tassie. It's amazing still how untouched the west coast of Tasmania is. As light fades, the team head into the dunes for shelter. Time to get the all-important fire going. It's heading for three degrees tonight. Well, this is technically our first on the beach in Tasmania campsite. It's technically the yes. last night. This class is the beach. No, that was on the that was on the grass. The beach is sand. As far as I'm concerned, if you're camping on the beach, you're camping on the beach from the sand. But what about those poor people in England where this, the, that beach is made of rocks? We are on the sand on the beach in Tasmania. I'm going to slap the ferry in the silly and it ain't going to take much slapping. Next time, the team has some hills to climb. Tasmania, the winching state. Well, mountains, actually. Yeah, baby! Woo There's big history in these hills. Can you imagine the stories that this place could tell? Oh, mate, yeah. Join them for the adventure.